be graced with the presence of Annette Funicello this afternoon and all the clapping that you heard over the last two hours has been when Annette arrived and the pictures that were being taken and that is the booth of course highlighting the Annette Funicello teddy bears and here she is right in our very presence and it's just Hi. so wonderful to see you again. You, too. you look marvelous. And this Thank is Peggy you. Vicioso. Hi. And it's nice to, Vicioso, excuse yes. me. It's great to have you back with us too. It's good to be here. We have three of the Annette Funicello bears this afternoon so we yes. have a lot Lots to talk about. A we do. Lots to talk about. Let's go ahead and begin. As I know, Annette, your bears, your angel bears, have been tremendously popular. People just love the thought of you giving back after you were graced with so many cards and so many letters. But it's nice to see the addition of more angel bears so that people can add them to their yes, collections. They're the greatest. They, so sweet they are. And just so pretty. I mean, they really have, have been decorated so lovely that they you just feel as though they're ready to take off and float away and watch over you wherever you go. Yes. Well, Celeste is just yes. beautiful because she has a, um, she's all mohair and she has a 100% silk jacquard dress. Oh, so everything yes. has been done just to the finest detail and she has hand stitched um, beadwork on her. She was designed um, with Annette by Jeannie Butita and uh, she's an award-winning artist. Oh and look at the even the little wings on the back. The wings are genuine genuine feather and then she has the bow and the beadwork of pearls, that little rosette rose in the center, and even the halo all adorned yes. with the gold and the ribbon and then the pearls. And Celeste is the seventh angel in the angel series. Is she? Thank yes. you, Peggy. I wasn't sure what number she yes, was. She's I number knew that seven. There have been quite a number of them. And then Annette Funicello's little swing tag is right here. Annette, did you come up with the idea of putting the angel on every bear? So that people yes. can wear that little yes. angel if they wanted to. It's so angelic. Yes. It's so special. Yes. And she received so many uh, angel pins in the mail from the fan mail. We get so much fan mail for Annette from QVC, and they had all the angel pins in it. And and um, we thought we should do an angel bear. Remember, we were coming right. back from QVC. And, A um, series. Yeah, and that's so that's them. how it started. We're going to yeah. move on to the next one, but I just want to let everybody know that with this bear, a portion of the proceeds go to the Annette Funicello Fund for Neurological Disorders. So once right. again, just like the Today's Special Value, you're doing something really kind for others when you buy this bear. Well, we'll set her off to the side because she's very, very popular, and I want to make sure that just before she sells out, at least you have one more opportunity to take a look at her. Let's move into the plush, precious, and Bailey Bear. And that's the one right here. And of course, they all come with a certificate of authenticity, welcoming you into the collectible world of Annette Funicello Bears. This little one is nominated for the 1996 Toby Award. Peggy, tell us a little bit about that Toby Award. The Toby Award is, um, is a, an award for doll artists and manufacturers. And this one, I believe, has been nominated for uh, manufacturers' bears, 10 inches, and smaller dressed. Okay. So they have different categories, and it was just nominated and appeared in the magazine this month. Oh. It's Darling, it's part of our Bear Buddies series, mm -hmm. and this one was also done by Jeannie, the same artist who did Celeste. Oh, all right, the little angel bear. Well, yes, I mean, it's a little bit deceiving on the air unless I put Celeste next to her so you can see size-wise the real difference. But she's just eight inches tall, part of the Bear Buddies series, and she does come with a certificate, of course. She's a limited edition of 2,500, and Bailey, we should explain, is the kitty cat. Bailey's the kitty cat. Do you love animals, Annette? Have you always loved animals? I've always had animals mm -hmm. around, and they're special. Like, the bears are so special. They're your friends. Yes. Friends. Yes. That's Best why we... friends. They are, and that's why we started the Bear Buddies series, for to have other animals with the bears. So this is the third in the Bear Buddies series. We've done a puppy and um, one more. Can't remember. Another little friend that came yeah, along with another it. another friend. Well, it's so cute because it's so typical of what we do with our pets. We hug them and we hold them, and it's like the teddy bears are are real people. Right. And they have their favorite little pets with them, too. Right. And teddy bears, speaking of buddies, teddy bears are those things that make a sick child feel better. 
that makes someone, an older adult in a nursing home, feel better. Yeah. When you bring them a bear, it just brightens their whole mood, their attitude. Yes. It's that friend that you hold, that you tell your secrets to. Well, Judy, yes. you know that's how Annette started collecting. Her, when she was traveling across the country, I think you had chicken pox. You developed chicken yes. pox along the way. Yes. And um, she was only what four or five years yeah, old. Yeah. And her, and she couldn't leave the the four. trailer they were they were in. And so her her parents bought her a teddy bear brownie, which was the first bear. Mm-hmm. So, Who was my best friend? Still is. And then you named your very first collectible bear, Brownie, when it Brownie. was on the market. Do you still have that very first bear? In a of course. Do you? <laughs> of course. <laughs> this little one is going very, very fast, as you can imagine. It's the whole concept of the bear buddies. It's the whole concept of always having a friend, of always having some. And even as a little child, when you had chicken pox, you knew that you could hug and love that bear. It would never get chicken pox. It would never be hurt by those loves and kisses and is still with you today. And tell your secrets to. That's right. They're such a confidant. That's exactly what they are. It's nominated for the 1996 oh, Toby Award. Sold out. And it has just sold out. So congratulations. <laughs> oh, good. I have a funny feeling, Annette and Peggy, that this next one is going to sell out too. If I, if I can go out on a limb and predict, <laughs> I adore the way this one was done. A hat box with a bear yes. inside. Yes. It's so cute. And Dolly, she has a fabulous hat on too. She does. She has so much character. That little floppy head, the pearls around her neck, the hat, the black hat with the great big feather and the great big uh, um, yes. flower on there. And you can take the little bear out of the hat box and you can move it and love it. She has the swivel joints, and the swivel joints are a uh, trademark of, of Kathy Clark, who's oh, the artist. Uh -huh. And the reason that um, she was selected is because she can fit inside the hat box and you can store her and keep her dust free if you want to keep her inside. Or you could put the lid on top and set her on top of it. That's what I would think that I would want to do, is just set it right on top. If anybody has a collection of hat boxes at home and they love teddy bears, Perfect. then how ideal. You put this little hat box on the top of your collection and then right up there sits the little bear because he matches right oh and absolutely precious and this one is forty nine dollars and fifty cents and then the hat box is included that's right and then yes that look at rich color is that outstanding it is you're absolutely right did you ever go through a phase where you loved wearing hats no. No, you were not ever a hat <laughs> but person. No, I love to see them on others. I do too. I love hats. I do too. It's, and it's... this one um, is a special hat. Oh. And the name. Dolly. Dolly. Yes. Uh, the name Dolly is a name that uh, Annette's father called her. Oh, right. really? Dolly. Your mom and yes. dad called you Dolly? Well, yes. doesn't it remind you of even Hello Dolly? Right. And of that whole course. Hello Dolly where she would carry the hat boxes. Mm -hmm. Or just like of My Fair Lady course. with the hat boxes and everything feminine and everything um, very romantic. Well, this one is on its way to selling out to Annette and Peggy. So you've obviously really tapped into the heart of something that people can appreciate and love and adore and admire. You've done just an excellent job, and we're so thrilled that you could be here with us today. We were really hoping that you, that you would be here. So if you would stay on the line for the, uh, the Little Dolly Bear, that's her name, sold out both times that she's been on the air before and is most likely on her way out the door again. She's C16526, and she will come along with the certificate. Len, should we do a review at this point? Okay. All right. If you would just sit tight.